finally did it. After looking through what seems like a hundred different printers, you found the one you wanted and you ordered it. It showed up at your home, you set it up, you printed your first Benchy, and now you're faced with the big question that everyone who 3D prints is faced with. What do I print? Stay tuned and we'll show you where to get started. Everybody has that one thing when they get into 3D printing that they want to make. And it could be a small army, it could be a giant spaceship. Everybody has something different that they want to make. But the problem is that once they've made that, what else do they make? There are a bunch of different places on the internet that you can go to to find models, and we'll go over a few of my favorite of those today. But before we get into that, um, if you've been setting up your printer, and today we're going to be focusing on FDM printers, uh, we're going to specifically be targeting websites where I have gone for finding uh, terrain and stuff for DND. Um, in the next video, we'll go over resin and the different places that you might go to find resin uh, miniatures and things like that. Um, but with either printer, you're going to have to find settings, and you'll hear people talk about fine-tuning your settings all of the time. And I'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty of getting those details and getting those settings up for you. Instead, I'll lead you over to um, Fat Dragon Gaming, is what it's called. Um, it's a website where they do miniature printing specifically for FDM, and every now and then they release a new updated profile for your printer, which will change all the settings. They have one specifically for terrain, specifically for miniatures. And so uh, in the comments, you'll be able to find a link to their website where you can find those things. But in my experience, they've done a really good job at helping me print um, really good detail on those things that I print for my tabletop. For anyone getting involved in 3D printing, if you've looked up files that you can print online, you've no doubt found your way to Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a fantastic resource for anyone. Anyone who's trying to print, regardless of what you're trying to print, you can usually find something there. If it's for D&D, you'll find something. If it's for um, Warhammer or any other tabletop game, you can generally find pieces of terrain or characters or monster models there for free that you can print out. Um, someone in particular that I want to kind of point you towards is Miguel Zavala. Um, on Thingiverse he goes by user um, MZ4250. And what he has done is he has gone and went through the D&D &D Monster Manual and he has created a printable file for every monster in this book. And he continues to make more, and he uh, continues to update the old ones, and he does it at no cost to anyone. He does have a Patreon, which we'll get into a little later on this. Um, but anything you're looking to print for a D&D &D encounter, you can typically find on Thingiverse. Now, are the models always going to be to your liking? No, but they're free models, and so use them as you will. Now, if you're unable to find the models that you're looking for um, on Thingiverse, which, I mean, like I said, there's thousands of models there, but... Maybe the ones that are there just aren't what you want, or they don't look the way that you want them to. There's various other places you can go to. You can go to things.com, which is a lot like Thingiverse. Uh, but my preferred is to find yourself a creator on Patreon that you like and subscribe to their Patreon. What Patreon is, for those of you who don't know, is it's just a platform for people who make things to put them up and put them for sale. And in the world of miniatures, it is king. There are hundreds of different creators that are creating new groups of monsters, new groups for encounters every single month. And for a monthly subscription, you can gain access to those. And some of them, yeah, I mean, for $10, you're only going to get 10, 15 minis. But at a dollar a piece, that's not too bad. But there are others that release packs of 50, 60 miniatures a month. So you're only paying cents for these models that you get to keep forever and they're yours and especially if you find a creator if you find someone whose style you love this is the way to go you know for that low price you can pay it once a month get the ones you want unsubscribe and then jump back in later on when you find something that you want 
or you can subscribe to multiple Patreons and support those artists and the files that they make. But most of the things that I've shown on this channel, I have found on either Thingiverse or from various Patreons. Um, my favorite Patreon at this point in time is Epic Miniatures, and that's just because every month they release a new batch of miniatures, and they give you an old batch of miniatures that they came out with in months or years past. And there's usually more than 60 different miniatures, including terrain and big bad guys and multiple poses and things like that and so forth. The encounters that I do, I have loved Epic Miniatures. Now in the last video we talked a lot about how you don't need to have a 3D printer to do things, you know, to print stuff for your tabletop, um, but that it can be helpful. And so one of the, the next things that we're going to go over really quick is websites like Hero Forge or Eldritch Foundry. And what these are, these are websites that you can go to and virtually create the model that you want. Now, when you go through this process and you, you, know, you select all the different things that you want your model to have for your character or your NPC or your bad guy or whatever it is you want to make with these websites, um, you have two options. You can have them print it out and send it to you. Um, you know, the prices range depending on how in-depth the model is, how big it is, and what material you have it made out of. But they can send them to you. You can go to your local hobby shop and find a lot of these as well. Find miniatures that you can paint, you know, for five, six, seven dollars. But the other side of it too is that with both of these websites, you can download the file to print your own for less than five dollars and it's yours and you can print it as many times as you want so again can you do this and create random customized models for your party and have them shipped to your home yeah you don't have to buy a 3d printer you can just have it shipped directly to you but if you're doing this a lot it's worth investing in a printer because then you can buy the files for a fraction of the price and print them yourself Tabletop gaming, again, should not be something that breaks the bank every time that you play it. It should be something that you can have fun doing for, you know, $20, $30 a month. And so with these options, it becomes something that you can do. And lastly, the thing that I wanted to talk about today is a little program called Blender. There are a lot of different 3D application, 3D modeling um programs that are out there. Blender is the one that I have gotten to know with time and it allows you to pull in models and alter those models, change them, do whatever you want to them and create new ones. Um, like I said earlier, I'm creating my own game and so I'm using Blender to create terrain right now, creating my own gas station, but I've also used it to create figures for my tabletop that I'll be able to print out on my resin printer. And so it's amazing to be able to see something go from absolutely nothing to physically print it out and on the table in front of you. Um, I won't be going over how to use Blender because I am by no means great at it, but there are tons of tutorials online that will walk you through it and show you what you need to do. And with these different websites and these different places that you can go, you should be able to find things to print for the next year. And after that, well, we'll just have to make another video and go over more. And until then, uh, don't be so obsessed with making things for your hobby that you actually forget to enjoy it. Until next time.